Hey everyone, welcome to today's video, which is going to be a pretty big book haul. So I went to the library this past Saturday, <coughs> and they had bags of books, $5 of adult fiction. I was hoping <coughs> that they had the same kind of bags with hardcore romances in it, and they didn't just had adult fiction. So I grabbed four bags. Excuse the voice, by the way. I have been cleaning and we made sure new mattresses. All the dust has <coughs> dusted away my voice. But they had the bags, I got four of them. And I have one thing here from Ollie's. So there are about 10 books. From these bags, yeah, there's about 10 or so books that are not in the piles here <coughs> that were um, just no's for me. So, we went back into the donation pile. I also got, with my lap, um, a book collection from all these. <coughs> From Ollie's, which is just kind of warehouse store. I'll start with this and then we'll get to the library books. So, for $20, I was able to get the entire Anne of Green Gables collection, which has all eight books, is one of the series I've been really wanting to read. So, I'm gonna have my collection in these nice covers. You see those covers there. So I'll probably hopefully, I'm hoping to start this maybe summertime. <laughs> and then the maybe piles. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna say synopsis, I'm just gonna show you books, that's it. But these two piles here are ones that are... I could see myself reading, but I'm not 100% sold on. <laughs> that is... Winter's in Blue by Teresa <coughs> Azo Perry. Morning Glory by Warren Alder. Or Adler. The Summer House by Allison McLeary. <coughs> Gas City by Lauren D. Esterman. Checkpoint by Nicholson Baker. Our Master by Christoph Battle. <laughs> Walk Through Darkness by David Anthony Durham. Into the Wolf's Mouth by A. Adam Fallis. Blood, uh, Blood Kin by Kerwin Dovey. A Fortunate Age by Joanna Smith Wackoff. <coughs> Nancy Fair Secrets uh, in Summer. The Singles Game by Lauren Weisberger. And On the Rocks by Erin Duffy. So you're all maybes. I have to reread the synopsis and rethink them. But for right now, they're borderline key, borderline on go to donations. Okay, brief intermission. Hey, my mom. You know, make sure you okay. So, these next books that I'm about to show you are all yeses. They, a lot of them are books that, if I'm being honest, if I would walk into the library or walk in the sales section, I might not pick a lot of these up. But now that I have them, I'm very happy. 
So as you heard me say in the beginning, I was hoping that I'd find these bags with Harvard books. Well, there was one. Just one. It is a Harvard historical Christmas. It is a sprinkle of Christmas magic and there's three stories in here. Christmas Cinderella, Finding Forever Christmas, and the Captain's Christmas Angel. And there, this one is A Murder Too Many by E.X. Frost. The Sage of Waterloo by Liana Franco. This one sounds very really good. Is Kingdom of Darkness by Andy McDermott. It's kind of like a national treasure. It's kind of like a national treasure meets um, like Da Vinci Code. <coughs> Me Before You by Jojo. Well, yes. <coughs> Excuse me. Water Dogs by Lewis Robinson. Mary Kay Anderson, The High Tide Club. Patricia Ferguson, Peripheral Vision. No, it sounds really good. The Double Game by Jan Freshperman. The Body Artist by John DeLillo. Afterbirth by Lisa Albert. The Burning of Rachel Hayes by Doug Alloy or Alien. Now these next two books I was so excited for. I was thinking to myself, oh is the first book I'm being here and did I get the full trilogy? You know, but I picked the first book of all the first books. And that is China Rich Girlfriend and Rich People Problems by Kevin Kwan, which is book two and book three in the Crazy Rich Asian series. Only book one, have them all. Brand new condition. I might be going back to the library next week if we go down that way. Pick up more bags. This one I don't know anything about. But it is a Christmas vampire romance. The Bite Before Christmas by Lindsay Sands and Jelani Frost. <coughs> and Lost Keats by Terrence Fotry. Okay, I had to pause I'm putting these books back in the bags after I'm done. Second bag. Which out of four bags and narrow it down to three bags. We have Rebecca Gregson looking up. Unconfessed by Yvette Christiansen. I don't know how to pronounce this little thing that was E at the end, but this one, this one we're gonna go and protect as a five star book. I Never Came to You in White by Judith Safar. <laughs> Mr. Mac and Me by Esther Fruit or Flow. A Jay with a Perfect Stranger by David Gregory. The Anchoress by Robin Caldwalder. Joseph Finder um, vanished. Reason and Romance by Deborah White Smith. 
Summerland by Ellen Hildenbrand. Before Women Had Wings by Connie Mae Fowler. Coral Glen by Peter Cameron. Fire in the Blood by Irene Nemorous, Nemorous Sky, Nemorous Sky. <laughs> Lick Creek by Brad Kessler. And a lot of these books, they're old library books, but they, they barely look like they've ever been read. So brand new books. Flabbergasted by Ray Blackenstein. Linda Farstein and Tunes. I know this one sounds very good. Sandra Brown, The Texas Trilogy. So there's three books in one. Winston Higgins, Good Luck With That. <clears throat> the Midnight Before Christmas, A Holiday Thriller by William Bonehart. <clears throat> the Sweet Potato Queens by Jill Connor Brown with Karen Gripsy. And Half a Heart by Rosalind Brown. As if a book, a bag too. And finally, the last bag. A Means to an End by Lisa Marie Redman. Captain Altruise. Something like that. A Dog's Purpose by W. Bruce Cameron. <laughs> Harry Lipkin, Private Eye. The Immigrants by Howard Fast. Now You See Him by, Ellie, uh, by Eli Gutterlib. Gutterlib. Outside Agency, a Kieran Lanhan Mystery by Connor Daly. Daly. <clears throat> Madeline Wickham, Cocktails for Three. <clears throat> Celestial Armani's by Peter Estrahazi. <clears throat> Mary Higgins Clark in uh, an Alfair book, You Don't Own Me. A Cup of Friendship by Deborah Rodriguez. The Husband Hour by Jamie Brenner. The Fair Fight by Anna Freeman. Alan Dean Foster's Kingdoms of Light. <coughs> this is not one I say I'm going to project five stars. Joshua Ferris to rise again at a, at a decent hour. Last few books. MC Beaton, The Perfect Paragon, and Agatha Raisin a Mystery. I think there's a whole bunch of these. Now, one thing I'm projecting five stars, at least before, 
is the Rossetti letter by Christy Phillips. And last one, Why Did Lori a Western Quartet by T.T. Flynn. So yeah, that is all of the books I got at in my library sale at Ollie's. Overall, I spent $40 and got however many books was in this video. I do not know. I didn't count. Um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to reading a lot of these. And I can't wait to start because my reading has been picking up. Um, I have been reading a storm. I've been pretty much doing nothing but reading in my spare time, which I'm very, very happy with. Um, but anyways, that's it for today. If you have any opinions on these books, feel free to let me know. If you've read any of these books, let me know. And until next time, have an all amazing day, and I'll see you guys in my next video.